Hello, I'm Marcel, and welcome to me screaming into the void. I have a project about reading one book from each country, and today I am reading Tunisian girl blogs in an Arabic world. Uh, it's by Lina Ben Meni. And what's special about this book is that Lina Ben Meni was a blogger in Tunisia uh, back in 2008-2009. And she uh, had a very special role during the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring uh, was a set of riots that happened in the early 2010s. Uh, in Tunisia, it happened in 2011. Uh, and uh, these happened across a lot of the um, MENA countries. So, and Tunisia is, a part, uh, is one of these uh, countries. Um, this book was a collection of her blog posts and what was interesting was that uh, because a lot of these countries where we were having riots were dictatorships, the newspapers and television stations were under very strict censorship, but social media at this time were freer. Um, so, uh, Lina Ben Meni was by many considered the only sort of source of what was actually happening during the Arab Spring in uh, Tunisia. And um, so she just collected some of her blog posts because they were originally written in Arabic and French. I'm really looking forward to sort of rereading about a very interesting sort of effect that I sort of just remembered, oh, it's over 10 years since the Arab Spring. Uh, welcome to becoming older. <laughs> so I'm going to start reading that one and I'll talk to you later. It's, um, I just came to a scene uh, where she's talking about uh, one of the demonstrations and I don't really know why but she describes her father wanting to join one of the demonstrations for the first time and they're walking in front of uh, one of the ministries and it happened to be what the ministry where her father was tortured in the 1970s. <laughs> I can't stop crying. I just imagine this man, this real man of flesh and blood and I don't know him, I don't know if he's generally a good guy. But imagining that this guy is, who's been tortured by his own government, a dictatorship, but the, the government of the country where he lives, and he's finally <laughs> managing to walk in the demonstration, seeing that there is going to be changes in, in his own country and... I can't really imagine what he feels. I can't imagine what he's thinking because this isn't his book. It's his daughter's writing and she's not uh, really writing about his internal world in that moment. But <laughs> that scene really moved. I don't consider myself militant. 
the word militant is sacred to me. A militant fighter for a cause is a sacred person to me. I consider myself, at best, a tiny activist fighting for human rights. It didn't take long to be done with the book. Um, it was a bit different than I thought it was going to be uh, because she has clearly not just collected blog posts but she is also contextualizing uh, a lot of the blog posts which helps <laughs> when it's more than 10 years ago. Two very interesting things uh, about the book that goes parallel and one thing is of course Arab Spring uh, and about the powder keg that Tunisia was before the Arab Spring and how while it was wasn't really just one thing that sort of made everything explode it was a lot of small things happening together and seeing more of the whole picture around the Arab Spring was very very interesting insight into it and especially as a reminder, considering that uh, the Arab Spring was back in 2011. But more important than that, what I really liked about the book was how she talks about social media as an activist tool. And the, the, it's almost funny. <laughs> considering how we talk about social media today that the discourse around it uh, around social media in 2008 2009 2010 was so different and i'd almost forgotten how different the discourse actually was i mean there was talk that the inventors of Twitter or inventors of the internet could win Nobel Peace Prizes at a time because people viewed social media as so much positive potential. Um, Lina Benmeni actively talks about the fact that she is a social media blogger, which is the reason why she and her social media activist friends are able to do the things they are able to do and that they have a freedom that traditional media doesn't have and i really really enjoyed sort of the refreshing input and being the reminding of that kind of discourse considering we're now so far out into social media just bad and I know I'm simplifying it but mostly now we're talking about the how social media is a bad thing um, so it was kind of a n nice reminder to to see what good social media could actually be so Lisa Benmeni Tunisian girl blogs in the Arab Spring I pick for Tunisia. And thank you for screaming into the void with me.